Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a really interesting little Quadcopter for review today. This is the Flying 3D Reaper. Um, what's so interesting about it? Well, on top of its shape, you know, its props are nicely well caged, so there's, you know, they're very well protected propellers. Um, it does have FPV, as you can see, I got my phone here, uh, FPV, but there is something else special about it in that it also has an optical flow sensor to aid in stabilization and horizontal stabilization of flight. It's going to try to maintain its position using that optical sensor. Um, how well it works, I don't know. We'll find out here today shortly. Uh, most of the time, I, I, you know, I've had problems flying optical flow sensors over grass. If it turns it tends to be a problem, we'll try switching over to uh, sand here shortly. But, um, oh no, really neat looking quadcopter. Let's go over in a little more detail here. The design. The design is very unique, very strange. I mean, it has a little airplane on top here. I don't know what that's for, just for design, I guess. Again, it, it has a uh, 2 mega, or actually, it's only a 0 0.3 megapixel uh, sensor on here. So we're going to get uh, 640 by 480 video from it. There's its on off switch. Uh, again, it's Wi Fi, and it is powered by a big 7.4 volt battery in here. <laughs> I think it's uh, 7.4 volt, uh, 350 milliamp per hour. I'll, I'll try to remember it and put it up here what it is, uh, the actual size. If I forget, it'll be down in the description below what the size battery is. Um, and the tilt lens, it has a tilt lens. You can tilt it up or down. I am going to leave it up mainly for this thing is supposed to be for FPV flying. And you'll see here shortly why <laughs> it's meant for FPV flying. The screenshots are very interesting from this particular quadcopter. You'll see why. Let's go over the controller real quick. This is your rates button. This is your flip button. This is headless mode. And this is one key return. Um, there is a beginner mode. I don't know what that is yet. We'll fly, find out by pressing this button here. And if you want to calibrate the quadcopter, if it's drifting a, quite a bit, press this button while it's on a flat and level surface. And your on off switch is here. It does have automatic takeoff and automatic landing by pressing that button here and emergency stop by pressing this button here. And this is yaw trim, pitch trim, and roll trim. So those are the buttons. Let's take it up for a flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. First thing we need to do is turn on the quadcopter with its on-off switch, put it on a flat level surface, turn on the transmitter, Let's see, turning on the transmitter, there we go. You got to hold it down for two seconds to turn it on, binding it. And one thing I want to do first, let's see if it, we can start the motors like this or like that. Obviously not. Oh yeah, that started the motors. Let's see what happens if we turn off the transmitter. Transmitter off. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. By five seconds, it'll stop the motors. So keep that in mind. Finding the transmitter one more time and opening the app. Okay, this is the Flying 3D app. <laughs> Notice it's very interesting looking. You can't control it by the sticks here, but uh, you get this cockpit layout uh, for uh, flying this. And I am going to select record right now. Let me see there. There's record. And video is recording. And we are going to take to the air here shortly. So let's uh, start the motor. Actually, let's do let's see if the takeoff and landing button works. There it goes automatically. Let's see how well this optical stabilization holds its position. And there is a wind coming from my left here, and it is actually fighting that wind. It is actually working very well. I am surprised. <laughs> um, wait a minute here. Let me hit this eyeball here. Eyeball, okay. This is so we can actually see what we're seeing here. And, uh, actually, I like that cockpit view. <laughs> we'll use that. Okay, let's bring it down lower. Right about there. And look at that. That is holding its position very well. And again, there's a wind from my back. Okay, let's go over here. Let it, let it move by itself, and let's see if it's, it stopped itself. And there I am, in the view of the cockpit. 
damn nice. This works very well. I'm pushing forward. Let's go to higher rate. Coming down lower. This is an even higher rate, third rate. You know, it's not very fast. I'll give you that. The wind's picking up here. Beginner, intermediate, expert. Okay, I just let go and it's and it's stopping itself. I am not doing anything, folks. Let's bring it down lower. Very uh, good optical stabilization. I am surprised. <laughs> but it keeps wanting to climb up higher and higher. Um, I don't know if that's because of the wind coming from that direction or not. Let's try this beginner mode. See what that does. I press beginner mate. And it's just wobbling around. Let's push forward. See what happens in beginner mode. I'm not seeing anything happen. Oh, I let go of the stick and it goes backwards because of the wind. Pressing it again. It's lights blink while in beginner mode. It does like to climb though, as, as you can see here. Let's just bring it down real low. Right about there. Expert rate. And let's just fly it around. Again, it's having a hard time fighting the wind though. So mainly this is probably meant for indoor flying. Uh, I'm pushing it as hard as I can into the wind and it's just not able to fight it. The wind's about only about three knots. I'm going to let back on the stick slowly. If you let go of the stick rapidly, watch what happens. It goes back and then it'll stop itself. Let's demonstrate that again. Pushing forward on the stick. And it like, again, it likes to climb. I'm coming down a little lower. It's not able to fight that wind, but I'm going to let go of the stick. And then how long does it take to stable it in the wind? Right about there. So yeah. This would be good for beginners. Not very good outdoor flyer, but indoors would be pretty cool, dang cool. Let's take it over to the pad, see if I can get it to land in the pad. Let's, let's do an automatic landing in my hand, actually. That wind's picking up a little bit more, but landing. Okay, lad. It thinks it's still flying because of my hand shaking. Hold on, folks. I am going to. Okay, why did that app close? Hold on. Going back to the app. Do we still have signal? We still have signal. We're going to ask. As soon as I landed, that thing, the app closed. <laughs> but let's go back over to the pad. I want to try the calibration. And see if that helps it. We're going to take off from the landing pad one more time here. And this time, I'm not sure I got that video or not. Hold on, folks. Let me see if we still got video. Stopping and starting the video again. Video started. And I want to do that cal right Pressing the calibration button. Okay, and going to high rate. And doing automatic takeoff. Let's try the headless mode now. Okay, that's the headless mode direction. The headless mode's working. Forward. Let's bring it up close. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the stick. Will it stop? Yeah, it stopped itself right away. So cool. Cool little quadcopter. Look at that monster in the uh, crosshairs. Fire! Okay. Notice its lights are blinking. I think that's probably, I think that's a uh, LVC warning. I'm going to stop the video right there. That might be our LVC warning, although the lights aren't blinking on this thing. Let's see if we can get any more flight time out of it. Going up this way, and then letting go of the stick, letting it come by me, 
hitting the record button again. I don't know why the recording stopped for some reason there. Turning it around in this way. But again, you know, this is, okay, there goes the lights. So we know we're losing, it's losing its power right now. But it's holding its position. That's the neat thing about this. It can hold its position, even with a little bit of wind. But it can't fly into that one. So, and there we go. And that's what it does when its battery runs out. It lands itself. So all in all, this would be a nifty flyer for beginners. <laughs> Actually pretty dang neat. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Again with the uh, Flying 3D Reaper. <laughs> Signing out.